Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Signals Facebook Live. I'm Rachel Del Juice, and I'm joined today by Walt Heyer, who is a former transgender, and he's here today to tell us a little bit about your story. I know we don't have a lot of time, but can you just run through the highlights of where you were at years ago and then why you're here today at a pro-life conference talking about your story? Yeah, well, I started out as a transgender kid. At least they would say that uh, today at four years old. Uh, the problem is that they're diagnosing kids like I was with gender dysphoria when they don't have gender dysphoria. They're just curious about gender, which we all should be curious about gender. And so it lead, led me to, um, you know, a point of thinking that I needed a gender change. And then one of these uh, experts in uh, gender dysphoria diagnosed me with gender dysphoria and said I needed hormone therapy and surgery, which, as you can see from standing here, they're totally wrong because I was born a boy and they... Uh, went through all the surgery and became Laura Jensen and lived eight years uh, as a female. Um, and to discover that um, nobody needs to change genders. It's absolutely, um, totally bogus uh, procedure, not only from the standpoint of hormone therapy and surgery, the people are suffering from comorbid disorders that need to be addressed and treated. And if they did so, we wouldn't have any transgenders. And what would you say, we see the media highlighting stories all the time of LGBT, yeah, LGBT activists and others who they're just, their stories are championed about them kind of like rejecting who they were and becoming a different person, another gender. Would you say that you see had a similar experience with media paying attention to your story? You've had a different experience or not? Well, the media doesn't pay any attention to me at all, you know, because it doesn't fit their narrative. And so, you know, it's much more fun for them to promote LGBT activist uh, people and put them on the front cover of magazines and make a big to-do about it. The fact of the matter is there isn't one person, not one doctor, not one psychiatrist, not anybody can even prove one transgender even exists beyond the fact that they say they are, which is why it's a psychological disorder and it's not a medical disorder and it doesn't require medical surgery to treat. They just need psychotherapy. And what would be your message to youth today? As a young child, you were taught that you were a girl and you were not. And so many youth today are bombarded with this message that they should be a different gender. What is your message to them to be aware of that? Well, I realize the schools have popularized changing genders, and it's more of a fad today than a reality in terms of uh, people actually having gender dysphoria. So I think the kids need to uh, get sharp. I mean, kids are really sharp. And if they sit down and look and ask for the information on what proof does anybody have that gender dysphoria exists, they themselves, the youth themselves in our schools could actually end this nonsense in a heartbeat. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you all for joining us. Please be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, so you always know when the Daily Signal is going live. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.